All right, quick update on my rogue in terms of add-ons and weak auras. Now let's just get right into it. So the first one, for PvP at least, is going to be arena stats. Now, this tool doesn't really help you in the games themselves. So not, not going to make you win necessarily. But it's really, really nice for analysis. So if you can, if you just look at this add-on, we can see like, okay, who do we play against? It really it even records the names we played against. It shows the comp, shows our MMR, their MMR, and if we won, how much we've gotten in points, and if we lose, how many points we've lost. A really nice tool, and something to keep in mind: this only records games once you have installed this add-on. So get it as early as possible. Also, a nice tool if you use this tool website just get go to your browser paste in the link come back press export copy all of this and then import it to this website and then it gives you a really nice well way of analysis that you can use to improve your game like for example a really nice thing to do is what is the most played comp or what do we play the most against and then look at how good are we doing against this for example like rogue priest we're doing kind of bad it's below 50 percent that's not great especially because not against the most played comps so this would be a nice start for us to think about okay what are we doing wrong in this comp what can we do better so this is something we should change up and it would be very valuable because we will face them a lot so it would be more valuable to improve in this matchup than let's say in in something like double rogue like we don't really have to break our heads and think about okay how do we fight against double rogue if they get to again like how do we open and whatever it's not that important because we're just not facing them and improving in this matchup is not gonna really help us in total and if you scroll down there's some other nice stats like what are you really bad against again it's druids it's ferals they just demolish us like if you look at this priest feral 20 games we've only won five lost 15 it's just 25 percent win rate is horrible this is this is basically also a good indication for us to improve in this matchup like okay what's happening here is this just our counter can we even do something about this or we're we just gonna keep losing yeah, really nice tool for analysis. Now, the next one is going to be similar. I think it is should be, yeah, it's details. Again, it's generally speaking not really a PvP add-on, but a really nice tool for analyzing your damage, the enemy's damage. What do we need to, let's say... Um, this is a warrior paladin matchup and I look at my stats and I see something like mutilate and melee being very low and having like rupture and your poisons up, uh, way, way higher. So telling me basically, okay, I should focus on my magical slash poison slash bleed damage and not that much on my physical damage. So that would tell me, for example, Dual wield specialization, which only increases my physical damage, is not going to be as valuable against high armor targets, right? But then again, if I play against like a priest, rogue, mutilate and melee will be way higher. And then that will tell me, okay, you know what? Maybe this talent is good when we face a lot of priest rogues, which we are. So also a nice tool for analysis to maybe switch like a few points in your talents, depending on what you need. Next add-on. Um, oh yeah, Gladi. This is basically the most important one. Most of you probably have it if you play... Um, if you play Arena. It... Well, I don't know. It shows you... What you're playing against. What spec they have. So this would be not only a mage but also a frost mage and then I would see the cooldowns right here and the most uh, important one the trinket and also really important if you have any stuns or CC the, uh, the diminishing returns so you're not gonna k 
kidney someone who's already on kidney dr and for me really nice is to see the cast bar left from this uh, character so it just pops right into my well my focus basically and can i like if i see this if, if this is a priest and i see mind control cast it i can immediately react by like uh, going line of sight or pressing cloak or something Like this is a really standard add-on. Everyone should have this one. The next one, Omnibar. It's nothing special. I like to have some cooldowns being tracked on this. So what you can do is this is also a really nice add-on for customization. It's really easy. Let's just say um, you want to see whenever a mage has ice barrier up. Or I'm actually let's just say evocate, right? want to see if it's on cooldown or not you just go to mage you scroll down to evocation and then you press this check mark for me i have it on some things like hem of justice or the priests um, psychic scream so i just see whenever they use their fear the priest a big cooldown will pop off in this um, in this bar and it will show me whenever it's ready again so i can react properly and maybe like use a cloak or something if i see if it's just getting out of, uh, off of cooldown not mandatory but it's a nice add-on um next one plater really really a great add-on in general it will replace the the normal plater you have which is just going to be a green bar above your enemies with this which gives us a lot of information in terms of what kind of debuff, debuffs are on the target. So let's say we are putting our bleed up. I can see, let's say this is a rogue and I don't have him in target anymore. I don't have to check the debuff uh, bar to see if he has still the bleeding on him. I can just go to another target and can see, oh, my bleed is just falling off this row can now stealth and maybe get to me so it's a really nice tool to just um, see your debuffs and not really have your focus be on your targets debuffed by right up here so also like other things i can see my stun duration exactly here i don't have to check oh how, how long do i have it can i like, can i act right now or not like a really nice add-on also it's it will show let's say this is a shaman and he just plays a totem i don't have to like zoom in or click the totem to know which totem it is it will have an icon above it like well, like this one actually wait let me just it will usually have an icon it will, just, will have this let's say there's a totem right here it will just have an icon above uh it like this and this i think is the icon for tremor totem so let's say i'm playing with the priest and he's calling for a fear and I, I should kill the tremor totem i can just see it immediately press right click or shift it and it's gonna die immediately and my priest can fear so it's really really nice to see the totems also what shamans like to do they there is a totem you should never attack because it can stun you when you attack it and they sometimes place it to bait you and if you don't attack if you if you see it immediately with this add-on you don't have to attack it and get yourself stunned for no reason. So it's really, really strong in terms of that. Also, you can customize it, but it's kind of complicated. So, yeah. If you don't do anything, it's going to usually be very good for your class itself. So you don't really have to do too much. Like, look at this. It's showing me everything that I need that is important. Next add-on for PvP. I think we almost we are almost done. Yeah, I think it's only weak hours now. And I only run one and it is this big one here. So it's called Luxtos. I think if you just Google for it, let's just say um rogue weak aura wrath of the Lich King. If you press on the first one, this is the website for weak horrors, wago.io, and it's actually the first one, Luxtos. You just 
go here. Oh, hello. It's taking its time, I guess. Okay, once you're here, you just maybe if you like don't know how to import Quigoros, you just copy it right here. Now it's copied. You can just go here, import, uh, control V. And since I already have it, I'm not gonna. Why is it like this? I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna import it. I'm just gonna close this, and you will get this. This will be a little different because I have customized mine a little bit. And some things you can do that are really easy in terms of customization. If you open this up and you go to core, you will see it only highlights these cooldowns right now. And if you open this one up, we can see that these are in a specific order and this is actually how they are shown in this week aura. So the first one will be blind and it's being shown on the first spot. So let's say I just want maybe I want my cloak to be on the first spot all I have to do is drag this above the blind and now cloak is on my first spot and blind on my second and again you can use these arrows as well to adjust them however you like really nice in terms of customization and again weak aura is a really really strong tool if you really want to get into this you can customize this however you like I'm not gonna mess with this so other things you can do for example like resources let's just say um, I think it comes with health bar not shown so it's not loaded you can just and let's just say you don't want to see the health bar you just go to the resource section it shows all the resources so your health energy and your combo points which is also really nice so you don't have to check the combo points right here Let's go to health bar. Let's say you don't want to see it. Go to load. Check mark this never slot. And then your health bar will now disappear. And I think that covers it in terms of add ons and weak auras. I don't have too much. There are other things you can use. Something I might get soon because I just got a new trinket, a really good one. I might just get some kind of trinket tracker that will show if the trinket is active and also the internal cooldown of these trinkets. I I didn't have to get that because I was just using uh, I think I was just using these two trinkets. This is an active one where I can just see the cooldown right there. And this one is an trinket that's just active all the time. Wait, where's the buff? Is it this one? Oh yeah, there it is. This also doesn't have an internal cooldown, but I might just get one that tracks the internal cooldowns of my trinkets, which can be nice. And also in terms of talents, a real quick update. If you have seen my well my guide video, I have changed a few things. I took two points out of heightened senses and put them into dual wheel spec, just so I have this extra damage against priests and other low armor targets because i'm seeing a lot of priests in this a lot of mages a lot of priests a lot of rogues as well obviously this helps against rogues to not get found but if you open up immediately which is usually the strat against rogues it's not going to be that valuable anymore and just having that extra offhead damage helps a good amount also one other change I put two points out of find weakness and put them into focus attacks just because I find myself having a lot of uptime usually against well against most matchups like maybe not against mage priests I think against mage priests is really bad but yeah most other matchups like against any warrior matchup against any matchup where I have any decent uptime this is going to be way more valuable than this one and I think that covers it in terms of... Oh yeah, and also I changed the glyph. I, I, I went back to this one just to have the extra defensive layer. The glyph of shadows glyph, uh, the, the cloak of shadows glyph, which reduces physical damage by 40% while your cloak of shadows is active. Really nice against the, the holy paladin warrior matchup. 
just so I have this extra defensive cooldown. And I usually don't get hodged. It's usually going to be my my heal druid who is going to be stunned. <laughs> so it's not really necessary to try to dodge hodges with this clock. And I can just use it when my when my healer is drinking or something just to reduce the damage by a little bit more. And I think that's it. Well, if you have any other questions, obviously ask away. Well, that's it. See you in the arena. Bye-bye.